subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates. Hi, what's up beautiful people out there this is Ashish Johan from Ashir Creation welcome back to my youtube channel I hope you all guys are doing extremely well in this video I'm gonna show you how to edit child portrait in photoshop so before any further ado just press the like button on this video so just so that it will motivate me to make more videos and press that just like this for you guys and if you still not subscribe to our channel then do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get latest updates of our videos and also visit our website that is www.asperogrations.com from there you can download backgrounds, camera preset, lightroom preset, LUTs, PNGs and every kind of photo editing stuff just for free also follow me on instagram so guys thank you for uh, sorry let's get to the photoshop now let's take some image we are gonna just uh, do the color adjustment in photoshop so all you have to do is just duplicate the photo let's one more duplicate the image now go to the blending mode and select the soft light to enhance the image you can just use the soft light this will actually you know create a very depthness in the photograph so just i make the opacity to 50 percent merge both the layers now add some bubbles on the image so let's take this bubble photograph just drag it and drop over here and just change the blending mode to screen and let's keep this bubble image over somewhere here let's take this and just keep it somewhere over here Let's take one more image. And here let's just decrease the size of the bubbles by pressing Ctrl D. Also we will keep some very over here one. Let's take some more. <coughs> let's select this bubble image from here. Oh, drag and drop, change the blending mode to screen. Now here, we gonna make more darkness, so go to solid, select the black color. Select the brush tool. And let's just add some blackness somewhere over here. In the blending mode to multiply now just to merge all the layers from here right click on it and select merge layers let's add this falling snow particles press ctrl T change the blending mode to screen Select the eraser and let's just delete these bigger particles from the image. Now this one is really looking cool. Now just merge with the below layer. Now again let's just crop the image for once again. Go to the filter, select the camera filter from there. And here we will start our real editing process. Here you can see our photograph is really very much you know whitey, so we'll reduce some kind of exposure from the image. Reduce some highlights from the image. You can see that uh, details are brought back. By reducing the highlights, you can just bring back the details. 
and you can just de decrease some whiteness or increase some whiteness let's increase some shadows from the image so it will bring back the details increase some blackness now let's increase the clarity to plus 10 now go to the FX tab sorry calibration tab and just move the slider from hue now let's go to the HSL tab select the green color and move the green color to aqua green and here also we will just move the color to aqua green you can increase the saturation of the green tone and just move the blue color now here we will increase the temperature to minus 5 because we want a bluish effect on the image so we will just increase the temperature to minus 15 or something like that also we will just move it a little bit to minus 10 and let's add some vignette on the image From the effects tab we will just increase the saturation of this so that it will increase the you know saturation of the aqua green tone. Here also we will just increase the green tone or make it more bluish. Here also increase the saturation. <coughs> now change the shadows to bluish color because we want whole photograph to look very much, you know, fantasy like. So we'll just move this slider. Now the last thing is go to the curves. <clears throat> and just uh, click on this one curve and let's add one uh, point over here just move it to around fill your photograph get matte look just move a bit toward 21 this one is really looking perfect You can add some contrast if you want to add. So you can see the difference. It is really looking very much amazing. Here was the before and here is the after effect. Now just hit OK. Now we will add some lightness on the image. So just create new layer, select the brush and let's select the orange yellow tone from here. and just add one stroke of the yellow tone change the blending mode to screen and here we will just increase the lightness and again let's create new layer select the brush tool and pick the white color and add one stroke of it this one is really looking very much cool it is looking like the light is coming from behind now just merge all the layers again let's just crop once again so finally here our photograph is perfect and ready for your final uploads so you can see the difference here was the before and here is the after a huge difference can be seen in the photograph 
so i hope you all guys have enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed then just press the like button on this video so that you know it will motivate me to make more videos and preset just like this for you guys for free and if you still don't subscribe yet to our channel then do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get latest updates also visit our website that is www.aspirations.com from there you can download backgrounds camera preset lightroom preset and every other kind of photo editing stuff just for free also guys follow me on instagram so guys thank you for watching bye bye till the next video keep sharing keep loving our videos and keep supporting